in his six-year NBA journey. Rondé Hollis Jefferson showcased his prowess as a formidable defender, an underrated playmaker, and a valuable rebounder. But here's the kicker. He was never, and I mean never, compared to the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. That is, until now. So what's changed? How did he go from a solid role player to someone who's evoking the spirit of the Black Mamba himself? You're about to find out. It's time to unravel the mystery of Rondé Hollis Jefferson's journey from an underrated gym to a Kobe Bryant 2.0. Buckle up, because this is going to be one heck of a ride. A tribute to Kobe. We all remember the FIBA World Cup in China back in 2019, right? Kobe Bryant was there, not as a player, but as the official ambassador of the games. He had a way of captivating fans from all corners of the world, and he wasn't just there to spectate. Kobe, in his usual style, shared compliments and insights with players and teams. It was a testament to his global impact. But fast forward to 2023, and Kobe is no longer with us. His untimely passing left a void in the basketball world. Yet, if Kobe were here today, we believe there is one player who would have undoubtedly captured his attention, and that's none other than Rondé Hollis Jefferson. College stardom. Now, before we get into the twists and turns of his professional career, let's rewind a bit. Hollis Jefferson was a force to be reckoned with during his college days with the Arizona Wildcats from 2013 to 2015. He played against future NBA stars and earned recognition with awards like PAC 12, Player of the Week. He was also selected for the All-Tournament Team, All-Defensive Team, First Team All-Pac-12, and All-Freshman Team. Oh, and let's not forget his NCAA Tournament West Region All-Tournament Team selection. With his college career soaring, he declared for the NBA Draft in 2015. He was selected 23rd overall by the Portland Trailblazers, but soon found himself on the other side of the country as the Brooklyn Nets acquired his draft rights. The journey had begun. However, his time in the NBA wasn't all smooth sailing. Injuries would play a significant role in Brooklyn's decision not to extend him a qualifying offer in 2018. But despite the hurdles, he didn't give up. In 2019, Rondé joined the Toronto Raptors, and it turned out to be a pivotal year as they clinched the NBA championship. But the basketball journey is often filled with unexpected turns. By the end of the following year, Hollis Jefferson was on a non-guaranteed preseason contract with the Minnesota Timberwolves, only to be waived just two weeks later. In 2021, Rondé signed back-to-back 10-day contracts with the Blazers and secured a spot for the rest of the season. During his time in the NBA, he averaged 9 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 1.9 assists per game, showcasing his versatility. But here's where the story takes a truly global turn. Rondé took his talents overseas, played in Puerto Rico, Istanbul, Korea, and the Philippines. It's a testament to his love for the game and his willingness to keep chasing his dreams, no matter where they take him. Reincarnation. Rondé Hollis Jefferson has emerged as a true embodiment of what makes the FIBA World Cup so captivating. He has adopted a version of the Mamba mentality to honor Kobe's memory. It has not only impressed most of us, but also captured the hearts of fans, particularly those in the Philippines. But here's the kicker. Hollis Jefferson is now rocking the Jordan jersey in the FIBA World Cup. It's a fresh start for him in a different setting. With Jordan's roster lacking some of the big names we're used to seeing, Rondé has taken on a more significant scoring role, and he's acing it. But what's even more intriguing is the style he's brought to the court. He isn't just scoring points. He's doing it with flair. He's adopted a very specific aesthetic in his new role, and it's turning heads. We've seen him drop a tournament high 39 points against New Zealand, 20 against USA, 26 against Mexico, and put up 24 in Jordan's opener against Greece. And it's not about the numbers. It's about the way he's playing the game. So, what's this new style all about? Well, you're going to want to stick around because we're breaking it down. It's uncanny, really. Rondé, a Philly native who grew up idolizing Kobe Bryant, has taken his admiration to a whole new level. He's not just paying homage. He's becoming a living tribute. He cut his hair like Kobe, rocks the armband like Kobe, wears the iconic number 24, and has mimicked everything from Kobe's footwork to his free throw routine. I mean, there are moments when you genuinely have to rub your eyes and ask, is that Kobe on the court? And he isn't a visual doppelganger. He's got the clutch gene, too. In a crucial moment, with Jordan trailing by four against New Zealand, he pulled off a jaw-dropping four-point play to tie the game. It was Kobe-esque, to say the least. The fans, electrified by his performance, broke into Kobe chants. Think about that for a second. In a foreign land, Rondé had a crowd serenading him with Kobe's name. It's a testament to the energy he brought to the game and the hearts he's captured along the way. Sure, Jordan may have lost the game in overtime, and they had a tough start against Greece, leading to their elimination from the tournament. But for Hollis Jefferson, the reception he received in the Philippines was nothing short of an honor. His words speak volumes. There was only one Kobe, but to feel that love and that energy coming down the stretch, hitting those big shots, God was with me, and Kobe was with me for sure. A dream. 
Hollis Jefferson is not just imitating Kobe's style. He's playing ball in that Brian mode. Remember, he made his name as a rugged wing and post defender in the NBA. But now, he's showcasing an entirely new skill. It's like we're witnessing a basketball reincarnation. And when you hear him talk about Kobe, you can feel the reverence. Rondé says, he's a legend. And you can only dream of being compared to someone like him. But he's quick to humble himself, acknowledging that he's not close to Kobe's level. He's embracing the Mamba mentality, working hard, and channeling that Kobe energy. It's about the legacy. Hollis Jefferson has made some profound changes in his life and career. He shed about 15 pounds, switched to a pescatarian diet, and get this, he often eats one meal a day. He battled stomach issues that affected his mood, but since making these changes, he's feeling better than ever. He is even working with a leadership advisor to reshape his outlook on life. And on the hardwood, Rondé is no longer the same player we remember from the NBA. He's tapping into his high school roots, playing more like a slasher who uses his athleticism to create space and draw fouls. Through five games at the FIBA World Cup, he's the sixth leading scorer, averaging 23.6 points per game. He's shooting 47% from the field, and when Jordan faced New Zealand, he fearlessly attacked their physical defense and even drew 12 fouls. The NBA return possibility. Now, what's next for the man who's become Kobe 2.0? Hollis Jefferson is under contract to play for TNT Trapang Giga in the Philippines next season. However, here's the exciting part. His contract does include an NBA opt-out clause. That means come February, in the middle of the NBA season, he can make a return to the big league. The big question is whether this style of play can translate to the NBA's tougher competition. Regardless of what the future holds, one thing is clear. Rondé is leaving it all on the court. He's giving it his absolute best to prove that he deserves one more shot on the biggest stage. At 28 years old, he still has his prime basketball years ahead of him. He's hoping that his play this summer at the World Cup will catch the eyes of NBA teams, giving him another shot at the big league. His words, I'm trying to show that I can compete with the best of the best and bring that Kobe-like energy to every game. Critics. We've all heard the buzz about Rondé being compared to Kobe Bryant. At first, it might have been a bit amusing for fans to see the resemblance. But to some, it seems like the hype train might be getting out of control. You know how it goes. People create theories, spread them around, and suddenly it becomes a big deal. But Rondé himself weighed in on the matter, and his response might surprise you. He dropped a humorous tweet saying, Shabazz Napier tells me to take a DNA test. Now, for those who don't know, Shabazz Napier is a former NBA player with a short stint in the league. His statement raised some eyebrows, and not necessarily in a good way. It seems like he might be enjoying the attention and fame that's come with the comparisons. After all, he did put up some decent numbers in his recent games, even though they ended in losses. But not all fans were thrilled with Rondé's response. Social media lit up with some fans calling him out, saying he's letting things get to his head. Others questioned whether he even resembles Kobe in the first place. And of course, there were those quick to point out that all his recent games ended in losses. But here is a contrast worth noting. Kobe wasn't one to gloat or heap self-praise, especially when his team was at the bottom of the standings. And speaking of Kobe, it's worth noting that the Los Angeles Lakers have a special tribute in store. On February 8th, 2024, they'll unveil a statue of the five-time NBA champion in front of the Crypto.com arena. It's a fitting homage to the basketball icon. So, there you have it. The incredible journey of Rondé Hollis Jefferson, a player who's not just chasing a dream, but living it on the hardwood. Kobe Bryant 2.0, it's more than a nickname. It's a testament to dedication and transformation. We'll be keeping a close eye on this journey, and you should too. But before we wrap up, if you're hungry for more under the radar basketball stories, you won't want to miss this next video. We're diving deep into the scary truth nobody noticed about Kai Soto. 